Okay, so it's um, 9.30 at night and I'm going to go to bed in a little bit. Um, but I thought it would be a bit of a domestic goddess before I do. And uh, I'm going to do some overnight um, porridge. Um, while I'm here, I'm also going to put on a bread in the bread maker. And I'm going to make some yogurt in the yogurt maker just to uh, make myself feel amazing. But in terms of porridge, um, porridge is a... Uh, pretty cheap and easy um, filler for breakfast. Um, when I was a kid, we were made to eat porridge. Um, there were six of us in our family, so it was probably pretty much the only thing we could um, do really cheaply. Uh, unfortunately, I was never there in time for breakfast, so I had to eat it cold, and since then I've found it quite disgusting and I won't eat it. But this overnight porridge recipe that I have makes it um, pretty creamy and pretty awesome and it's pretty much the only porridge I'll eat so if you're not a porridge fan or your kids aren't this is a pretty much guaranteed well I reckon it's guaranteed to uh, to change those ways so what I've done really quickly here is I've just put a knob of butter and melted it in my pan and I'm going to go with a cup of rolled oats and uh, pop that in I haven't got it on very high, I don't want them to burn. So a couple of rolled oats. Now these are the rolled oats that we use. Um, any, it doesn't have to be this brand, but any one that's kind of says creamy, makes it nice and um, uh, easy to use. So I'm just gonna keep, just I'm gonna whack it on high now. I'm just gonna keep stirring that uh, until all the butter's kind of if you can see that but um the butter's kind of in the rolled oats and i'll give it a keep stirring it on high for about i don't know 30 seconds to a minute i don't want it to burn like i said but at the same time you kind of want it to go a little bit toasty not too much and then i'm going to go on with two cups of water hot water um Smell it. Yep, that's good. I'm gonna go two cups of hot water. I've just boiled the jug. And that'll that'll boil straight away. And a pinch of salt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pinch of salt. And then once it's come to a, uh, well, it's already boiling. You want, it, you want it to come to a boil, and then I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so I've got my two cups of water in there, a pinch of salt, it's come to a boil, and I'll stir it for a little bit, but you can just see that it's bubbling away there. It's quite runny. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat off. Whack the lid on, leave it overnight. When I come back in the morning, I'll shout to you, but it'll be all thick and set. And then I'm going to add a cup of milk, bring it back to the boil, and that'll be just the creamiest porridge ever. And no, I don't do this every night. I definitely don't do bread and yogurt and porridge every night. I'm just doing it tonight because it's the best night. Okay, morning everyone. So this is what the porridge looks like in the morning. As you can see, all the liquid's soaked in and it doesn't look all that appetizing right now, but I'm gonna put the heat on and then I'm gonna add uh, one cup of milk. So another cup, fill up with milk and I'm gonna stir that slowly, get rid of all the lumps and it will turn into something creamy. Okay, so I've added in the milk. And then I'm just, as you can see, there's quite a few lumps. I'm just breaking them up as we go um, and uh, letting it heat up slowly. Okay, so this is um, looking pretty close to being finished. You could add a touch of cinnamon in if you wanted to. Um, that'd make it taste nice. And then you could just load it up. Uh, serve it up, load it up with any of your toppings that you like. It's a complete personal taste. So you could do yogurt and 
um, apple or berries or um, linseed or brown sugar and milk, which I think is what my girl will probably do. Anything you like, pretty much. Something sweet, something fruity. And uh, as you can see, this is nice and creamy. I think it's the both the milk and... Thank you, Gabby. Got a cinnamon there from Gabby. The milk and the uh, butter that turns this into uh, quite a nice porridge. Okay, so here we go with the porridge. You actually kind of really need to taste it rather than just see it. It's a beautiful morning and this is how my girl has chosen to have her porridge this morning with a little bit of brown sugar, not that much, eh? Yeah. And delicious bowl right there.